And welcome into Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Rich Reynolds. A lot of stuff to get to today, including these two fellas right here who inhabit a building that I used to manage in back when I was a GM at a Friday's a long time ago. It is now at Greenway oh, Station, right. Fuji, Sushi, and Ibachi. Yeah, I'm probably the reason that it closed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got, it, it looks great in there now. You guys have done a wonderful job. So welcome in, guys. Uh, tell us, every, you know, and everybody, too, what makes you guys different when it comes to you know being a, a sushi place i'm gonna let han take that one uh, i would say you know we carry a lot more fresh product more open variety of fish our fish is in comes in two to three times majority of the time it's something i would eat even if it's not cooked okay. <laughs> of course obviously <laughs> more raw the better it is uh but our chefs uh, mainly it's this drive of our chefs their passion is in food yeah, uh, and that always yeah. makes a difference, especially at a sushi place. And you could tell, you know, whether or not the, the chef is really passionate about it or not. What are some of your favorite dishes? And then, too, what are some of, like, the favorite customer dishes so far? Mm, I myself, I mean, I just put away sushi like crazy. But uh, the rainbow roll is definitely one that a lot of people do tend to enjoy the most, especially, like, the, uh, the newbies to the sushi because it's a California roll, and everybody loves a California roll, and it's just layered with a, a wrapped-in different kinds of fish so you kind of get that taste of that California roll but you still get to try a little bit more fish so it's something that's delicious for you and it's you know kind of on the safe side for those with a new palate um, but another thing that I've noticed a lot of customers getting of course is our hibachi people love eating the fresh cooked food at the hibachi and everything like that and I mean with this guy behind the hibachi how are they not <laughs> going to eat it or, you know not have a good time while doing so you, you got to be pretty skilled to do that hibachi girl don't you yeah, um, I, don't, I wouldn't say skill, but again, it's doing sushi and abachi is my passion. It's my drive. It's the food. It's, it's all, for me, it's all about what I put on your plate. What makes you smile makes me smile. Excellent. Yeah, you guys got a beautiful location over there at Greenway Station. Now, are there other locations that you guys have as well? Yeah, we're all across the Midwest. Okay. Um, but here in Wisconsin, we have two locations, one in Middleton and one in Janesville. Oh, okay. All right. It's probably the more popular one is the Janesville one. People are been really amped to hear. It's like, I don't have to drive all the way out to Janesville anymore. Come right here to Middleton. It's like, yeah, we're good. Excellent. Yeah, good stuff. So how about like a, a, a bar selection? You guys do a full bar, mixed drinks. Do you have uh, sake? Oh, we have a full bar. Uh, me and this guy have uh, had a couple other drinks behind there. Yeah. How else gotcha. are we going to know our, our product? You know, how else are we going to sell it to the customers? Uh, but we do have a uh, very wide selection of sake, actually, and that's something that uh, kind of does uh, make us a little different from the others because we have sakes. You know, we have the warm sake, the traditional, uh, you know, the traditional warm sake. We have the cold sakes. We have the sake with the rice pulp. You know, anything from dry to sweet. You know. Anything that you'll, oh, wow. that you so choose. Uh, another favorite that a lot of people like at the bars are uh, Fuji Tini. I'm sorry, the Saki Tini. Fuji Tini is another popular one, but it's, uh, it's a martini that's actually garnished with pickled ginger. So it's a little something different for the palate, but goes great with the food selection. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that sounds terrific. So what has been the customer uh, reaction so far in, in, in your customer base out there at Greenway? Um, so far, I'm always getting calls. Hi, is Chef Han working tonight? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you put him down? I, I don't that's, care if he's got four other tables, but we have that's, that's just from the ladies, right? It actually, oh. no, <laughs> actually, me and we were just talking about this yesterday. I said, like, yeah, we every, time we get, every time I get a call, somebody requesting a chef, it's a girl, it's a lady, <laughs> trying, trying, to, trying to call up Han right me. now. <laughs> but uh, so far for the customer base, I mean, we have, a, we have a lot of businesses, corporations, everything like that right around us. So during the lunch, you know, we have a lot of the more business types, everything like that. And then uh, during the evenings, dinners, we have, you know, the more, the more family types. And on the weekends, though, we get a pretty rowdy crowd in there. It gets, uh, it gets pretty loud in there, but it's, real, it's a whole lot of fun. I mean, I could hear this guy screaming from the other side of the restaurant while I'm at the bar you know, shaking up some drinks for some people, but the customer base is uh, very wide. Also, given that we have the uh, hotels next to us, we mm -hmm. got people, you know, coming in from Germany, France, uh, Indonesia, all over the place. You guys got some patios too, don't you? Yes, we do have the patios, and that's uh, that's something everybody's been pretty uh, pretty amped about. Yeah. Uh, Take advantage now because the weather's really good from what I hear in Wisconsin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. yeah you're a San Diego yeah. guy. You don't know you yet. Know. Get a whole, know yet. whole two so. weeks of summer here, so. <laughs> it's, it's good outside right now. It's really nice. Uh, you know, there's covered seating too, so it really helps with the sun, everything. 
I like it because you want to. Sometimes you just want to be outside, enjoy the weather. Absolutely, and enjoy the good food. And fellas, thank you so much for being here. Thank Check you. them out, Fuji over in Greenway Station. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town right after this on Channel 57. Joining us from Stuart Haas Racing in North Carolina is Air Force veteran and Aspen Dental Practice owner, Dr. Jer Gillen. And you are here today, doctor, to talk about a special day of service. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today. Thank you for having me. So we've got lots of questions for you. We're going to kind of dive right in. Dr. Gillen, tell us a little bit more about this special day of service. It's part of Aspen Dental's Healthy Mouth Movement to honor our nation's veterans. What an excellent opportunity and a great thing to do. It is. We, we love doing this. It's our favorite day of the year in many of our offices. Um, what it's designed to do is, is to, to bring America a healthy mouth. The Healthy Mouth Movement was started about three years ago. Uh, we teamed up with, uh, excuse me, Danica Patrick uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, she, you know, as you can see, I'm sitting in front of her uh, NASCAR uh, Sprint Cup champion car. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> but again, what it's designed to do on June 25th, we're opening our doors to veterans across the nation. Uh, almost 400 offices will be open and uh, 30, 33 states. And what it's designed to do is to, to, to take care of veterans. You know, the, a, lot of, a lot of times veterans have difficulty getting dental care, like many Americans. And what we want to do is, is to reach out to them, let them know we're here for them. Uh, it's a free service for them. All they do is just get onto the website or make, get onto the 1-800 number, and they can call and make an appointment. Wonderful. And Dr. Gillen, you're a veteran yourself and now a dentist. What a great cause coming up to, on Memorial Day as these things are, of course, top of mind. Why do you think these dental services are so important for our veterans? Well, we know that uh, oral health is essential to your overall health. Um, I, I, being a veteran myself, I know what a lot of these men and women have gone through. Some have definitely had different paths than I've had, uh, and, and, you know, but then they come back from the service or from wherever, uh, and they need our help. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but veterans a lot of times don't qualify for dental care benefits. So, so that being the case, Aspen Dental said, you know what, let us pick up the slack where that, that, that is, and, and we'll, we'll take care of these these wonderful, you know, uh, esteemed part of our communities and our, in our, in our uh, you know, so, so when, we, when we open the doors for, for, for the day, we, we bring them in and, and hear stories and get to meet them, and a lot of times we get to change their lives. Excellent, and good for you for being involved in this and also to Aspen Dental. Let's talk a little bit about this NASCAR star power you have backing you. Talk to us a little bit about this in regards to the Healthy Mouth Movement. What's the connection with the Stuart Haas Racing and Driver Danica Patrick with this movement? Yeah, so Danica Patrick uh, and Aspen Dental partnered up a couple of years ago in sponsorship. Uh, and ever since then, she, she's loved what we've been doing. We love what she's been doing. Uh, she's a great ambassador for the Healthy Mouth Movement. She's been on numerous uh, interviews and talk shows and things like that talking about it. Uh, she's a great champion for veterans all across the nation. Uh, you know, we, we love having her with us. Uh, she, she just kind of brings a little bit extra punch getting the uh, word out there. And so, so we're, we're very lucky and very glad to have her. Yeah, no kidding. Well, congrats to you all. Let's uh, remind us when this free day of service is. I think you mentioned in the beginning, but talk to us about when this takes place for veterans and around the country, really. Around the country, that's right. Uh, you know, uh, you don't have to be a veteran either. I mean, I mean, you don't have to be a veteran listening to this to make an appointment. If you know of a veteran that needs help or dental care or whatever, you know, you can make that appointment for them. But on June 25th, Four, almost 400 offices are opening their doors, uh, and, and how you find out more information about that is go onto the website, healthymouthmovement.com, or you can call 1-844-ASPEN-HMM uh, to make an appointment. Well, what an incredible thing for folks. And you mentioned uh, over 400 offices around the country. That is incredibly impactful, and we appreciate it very much. Now, for less listeners who are going to make an appointment, that the website is the best way to do that? The website has all the information you need, but I'm pretty sure it will route you to the 800 number. Uh, but, okay. but yeah, either way would be great. Fantastic. So if you're a veteran out there or you know a veteran in need of these dental services, make sure that you contact the information that you see on our screen. And boy, we greatly appreciate all of your hard work. And of course, we appreciate your service. This is uh, Dr. Gillen, and we appreciate you joining us from Aspen Dental. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. 
know, there's very few times on Talk of the Town that I could actually go ahead and tell you that I know absolutely nothing about the topic that we're going to talk about. Very, very rare, because I'm kind of a know-it-all. Uh, but these ladies do know a lot about the topic, as we have Marissa and her mom, Laura. They are here from NF Midwest. And so welcome on in, ladies. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. Yeah, uh, let's talk about NF then. So an NF standing for neurofibromatosis. Am I saying that right? Okay, um, what is NF? NF is a genetic disorder that causes tumors inside or outside the body, and sometimes there's bumps on the skin. Okay, so can they be like subcutaneous, or are they inside your body? Uh, like, uh, like, so could they uh, manifest as like, like brain tumors or like onto on other organs? Yes, I had a brain tumor removed when I was seven. Holy cow, wow. Uh, that's that, that's amazing. So this is it's genetic, you said, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, what what are some of the struggles that you end up having to face? Because I'm imagining that's quite a bit uh, of an ordeal. So learning is more difficult for me, and I have to see a lot of more doctors and other people. Okay. And specialists. Wow. Okay. It's it, absolutely amazing. When I saw you, you ladies walk into the television station this morning, I, I, I had no idea. I'm like NF. You know what? What does that mean? You look wonderful. Uh, you you absolutely do. You shine, and so uh, I, I wow. You never know that any of that is is going on. Uh, you guys do an event too called Great Steps. So I think we we just missed this one, right? Yeah. So the walk is awesome. It's on. It was on May seventh. There's a DJ. It's a two mile walk. There's raffle. There's a silent auction. Okay. And you do that here in Madison? It's in the Capital Brewery. Oh, okay. Very nice. We love Capital Brewery, yes. by the way. Big fans. <laughs> They're on our station uh, quite a bit. So tell me, if you could, uh, what are some of these, these things that you brought today? So I sell these Paracore bracelets. They're $5 a piece. And I sell them at businesses in McFarland. They let me set up a kind of like that. And I sit and they let me sell for like three hours or something like that. Terrific. And this is all then to raise money then for NF, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So how much does something like the event like uh, Great Steps raise? So this year, I my team raised over $5,000. Terrific. And just selling bracelets, I raised over 1000 What a girl. Look at you go. She's awesome. <laughs> Got to be amazing. pretty proud of that, huh, Mom? I sure am. She's amazing. She's, she's tough as nails, you know. She, she does have struggles with it, um, you know, that she has to live with every day that, that no one besides her can really fully appreciate. So I'm so proud of her that she's taking the bull by the horns and bringing awareness to this so yeah. other people can learn about it. I, I don't think a lot of people know, you know, mm -hmm. uh, much or anything at all about NF. So, um, so it's, it's a genetic uh, you know, disease. Is this something that... Uh, they're making any progress on? How did they find out? How does this kind of manifest? So sometimes NF is just a spontaneous mutation and it just happens. Um, her dad and I do not have it that okay. we know of. Um, sometimes it is passed down. If, if, if Marissa were to have children one day when she's much older and married, <laughs> she, she would have a 50% chance of passing it to her children. So, okay. um, you know, it's it's just one of those things you just, you don't know. Yeah. You know, they're not, they are making progress. This is a great organization that, that we got plugged into that's done a lot for Marissa. Um, bringing awareness to it is a big part of it so that we can get more funding and research. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so how much, I, I guess, uh, if we go uh, forward, not, not how much, but how much do you wish like people knew about people like you that have to deal with NF all the time? That it's... That it's, yeah. What? Tough, tough to deal with? Yeah, it's tough to deal with. We can't help it. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it would. And, and it's something that, you know, I, like I said, by, by looking at you, I'll think, wow, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. pretty girl glowing on the outside. You would never know all, all of that that you're battling with inside, but uh, I, I'm amazed by you then. I mean, absolutely, that's, that shows just how strong you are. So thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you and, for yeah, having us. Yeah, thank you for telling your story. And we'll have more Talk of the Town right after this here on Channel 57.
And we're back now with a topic that I think most people can agree on. I think most people would like to have clean lakes. As we bring in Adam from the Clean Lakes Alliance, he's the Director of Marketing and Development. Adam, thanks for joining us. Yep, thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, if you could, tell us what your mission is at the Clean Lakes Alliance and how you guys hope to make like a positive impact, if you will. Sure, so the Clean Lakes Alliance has been around since around 2010, and our goal is really just to increase lake awareness, lake usership, and, and ultimately, create clean lakes for our community. So Madison is a, is a city that, you know, we have a, a world-class university and we have the Capitol building and we have all these things that people really get behind and champion. None of that would be here if it wasn't for the lakes. That's why the settlers picked Madison. So we feel that the lakes really need to be a top priority uh, when people are thinking of things that are important in Madison. For us as, as Madisonians, I mean, if, if we might think the lakes are polluted, is that a right way to think about it? Is that true? Well, th they have some issues. Um, okay. They're actually fairly clean for, for urban lakes, but there are some, some real issues. Um, phosphorus reduction is our main goal. So phosphorus is, is created through runoff to the lake or, or redisturbing of sediment at the bottom of the lake. One pound of phosphorus equals 500 pounds of algae. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty intense. So our, our overall mission is we want to reduce phosphorus into the lakes by 50% by the year 2025. So that's around a 46,000 pound reduction. And we'll do that through things like uh, land management on the north end, working with farmers and, and reducing runoff, um, some sort of urban projects when it comes to leaf raking, when it comes to storm runoff. Um, there, there's a whole, we have a 14 uh, point action plan and if we tick each one of those off, it, it's actually an achievable goal. I would think in a city the size of Madison that's surrounded by as much water as it is, that's a challenge. It is, and, and you know, we, we're constantly uh, presented with new challenges, so storm runoff is something that is just going to continue to be a problem. We've built up the isthmus pretty well and there's a lot of cement. And, and as these rain events maybe become more intense, there's just less places for rain to settle. So we don't have as much native prairie grass and we don't have as many just open fields. So what happens is, is it just runs all off into the lake. And if we can find ways to sort of slow that water a little bit, we can actually reduce the amount of runoff, which reduces phosphorus, which means cleaner, clearer, healthier lakes. Now, if people want to get like current conditions, they're going to spend the day on Lake Mendota or something like that. How do they go about finding out lake conditions? So we actually have uh, an, an integrated website called lakeforecast.org. It's amazing. It is the only type of website like this in the country. And to our knowledge, it's one of only two in the entire world. Lakeforecast.org, we have 58 nearshore monitors, so people who are taking water samples at least once a week and they're uploading it into this, uh, this it's not an app, it's an integrated website, and it would have water clarity, uh, it has water temperature, and then it has water conditions, whether it's good, fair, or poor. Additionally, all the public access points, the beaches, the, uh, the lifeguards are monitoring the water. So you can dial up this, this website right on your phone and then touch one of these points and see, oh, the water is 70 degrees and it's clear at Tenney Park, but if I touch somewhere on the north end of the lake, I see, oh, it's, it's, you know, maybe it's not so good. And, huh. and really, what this should be doing is a lot of times when people will go to the Union or they'll go somewhere and they'll see the green water, they think, well, the lakes are just completely dirty and right. I can't use them. That's not the case. Because of the way the wind moves or actually there's currents in the lake, it may be murky on one side, but it's completely clear on the other side, and, and that beach is open and, and, and ready for, for people to come and have a good time. So lakeforecast.org is a great way to find out the exact current conditions of what's going on on all five lakes. That's great information. Also, too, what if someone wants to get involved? So you know what, I want to be actively involved in helping keep the lakes clean or maybe take part in an event. How do they do that? So cleanlakesalliance.com, great way to just get all sorts of information, as well as following us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, some upcoming events, we have a very, very popular family-friendly bike ride coming up on July 30th, Loop the Lake. We're going to start at Old Brick Park, and we'll go clockwise around Lake Monona. This is the fifth year or the fourth year we've done this, and we think we're going to have around 75 riders. It's a ride, not a race, so <laughs> family-friendly. You kind of take your own pace. You do what you want to do. Um, but it's a great way for, for people to just sort of use the lakes and kind of get close to them and, and feel how important they are. Um, and beyond that, we have a series of talks every month, Yahar Lakes 101. Uh, they're at the Edgewater. There's topics like storm runoff. There's manure management. There's uh, wildlife stuff. There's all sorts of uh, really interesting talks. Those are free to Friends of the Clean Lakes Alliance, which is a $35 annual fee. Otherwise, 10 bucks a time, but fascinating information. Excellent stuff. We're surrounded by the water here in Madison, as you all know. So I think this is a great thing to go ahead and take a part in and check it out online as well. Adam, great stuff, man. Thank great. you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. You bet. And thank you for watching. We will see you next time right here on Talk of the Town on Channel 57. Bye-bye.